Okay, amigos, tonight we're going to be preparing Umberto's famous sheephead ceviche, but we'll be using red fish instead. When you're making ceviche, any firm white flesh fish will work. Sheephead, drum, puppy drum, red fish, obviously, trigger fish, obviously. Okay, so well, first of all, the first order of business is to obviously fillet the redfish. Now you'll notice that I still have the skin and the scales on this redfish. The reason is that in my experience, the best way to freeze fish is to leave the skin and the scales on, put the fillets flesh side together, and then wrap them in aluminum foil. And uh, probably most of you all know how to do this already, but we're gonna do it just for the heck of it. See, and, and this is the interesting thing, folks. This fish has been frozen for several weeks. But look how red, as I'm saying, when you leave the skin and the scales on, even after it's been in the freezer for a while, that section close to the skin remains red. And folks, that is the key to fresh fish. We're gonna do the second one. This is probably, what, about three, four pound redfish? Ideal size, isn't it? Isn't that what we all love? Yeah. And then it's a simple matter of dicing the meat. Now, some people, you remember when Cuisinarts were all the rage, you can still do that. I mean, you can put this meat in a Cuisinart. I prefer to do it this way because it is a labor of love, amigos. Dicing. You might say cubing, but it's more like dicing because you want it pretty finely cut, more so than if it was just cubed. And for that purpose, I employ this item. We just dice to do the whole process myself. Fresher than normal because of the skin and the scales that remain on the fillets when I froze them. Into the bowl they go. Now, since it so happens that Creole tomatoes are in season, my ceviche season luckily coincides with our Creole tomato season down here in South Louisiana, which is very, very convenient. We we're gonna dice again. No major revelation here. We're doing the same thing we did with the redfish meat. Now what I like to do is I like to use like about half fish meat and then about a quarter to a third Creole tomato and about another quarter to a third sweet onion. This is not exactly the kind of ceviche you're gonna recipe that you're gonna find elsewhere, but that's just, especially around Mardi Gras time, 4th of July time. No one has complained that these are not the ceviche recipes that they find on the Food Network. Roberto, where'd you come up with that stuff? Well, I live in South Louisiana. So, you know how it is, we don't follow recipes down here. I grew up down here, we don't follow recipes. So now we've got the Creole tomatoes and the redfish in there. Now we're gonna go to the sweet onion. Simple matter of dicing. The finer, the better for the onion. Because you know, if you get a big chunk of onion, a lot of people, it'll overwhelm flavor of all the wonderful ingredients which we have it here, like the redfish. So here we are with the onions, diced onions, diced grilled tomatoes, diced fresh redfish fillets. Now we're gonna do something that is not recommended in any recipe that I've seen, but ask my dinner guests. We're gonna add a couple of spoonfuls of locally produced 
Italian olive salad. Central Groceries is wonderful. Any one of those local ones are great. A couple of bufos. Again, you don't want to overwhelm it, but just a couple of those add a delicious, delicious text and texture to a meal that normally is not supposed to carry it. So we mix all that up. Dice redfish, dice Creole tomatoes, dice sweet onion, and Italian olive salad as made in the New Orleans area. The only thing that we've got to do now is add a little bit of cilantro and Italian seasoning. We, you know, we had any, we had some of that already in the Italian salad. But man, if you're cooking in South Louisiana, you, you can't overdo the Italian seasoning. Now we will simply cover this wonderful, wonderful, gorgeous mixture with lime juice. Squeeze limes into it, fresh limes. Don't use that lime juice that you can get in a bottle. In my experience, it doesn't work too good. In a pinch, use it, especially if you have fresh fish, but otherwise get fresh limes and squeeze and squeeze until you've got the thing basically covered. What I find when I usually make a portion of ceviche, I usually from four to five lines to the trick. I mean, you saw the redfish, it was probably what? Three pounder, three and a half pounder. I found that one lime per pound <laughs> is a very rough estimate for me. We're gonna go in with a little balsamic vinegar. Not a lot. Because as you know, vinegar can overwhelm. It overwhelms salad, it'll overwhelm ceviche just as much. Call it EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. On top of that, for added flavor, I like to throw in balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Wow, I ain't never seen that in no, in no recipe for ceviche, neither have I. Not a lot, that's about right. And now, the order of business now is to simply let the lime cook the fish. It's not really raw. You'll notice that lime juice will turn fish meat white, probably in an hour to an hour and a half. Typically, I will leave this gorgeous, gorgeous mixture in the refrigerator overnight. We cut out the center section of the French bread, but Heaven forbid that we should let wonderful New Orleans style French bread portions go to waste. So what we do now is we'll butter them and put them in the oven and toast them a little bit and use them as kind of like large, delicious makeshift crackers on which to eat the ceviche. Again, there's nothing wrong with using regular crackers. But man, if you can make them out of French bread, and here we are ladling on chunks of Creole tomato, chunks of olives from the olive salad. And what I like to do is I like to season it right as I'm eating them. Because if you put the seasoning in the ceviche and you let it sit there, as you all know, the salt will draw out the liquid from the fish and it liquefies it too much and it retards the flavor in my opinion it makes it too liquid. This way, ceviche on French bread crackers. <laughs> Can't go wrong. <laughs>